Today we're getting away from the hand tools. I'm uh, just going to show you another tool here, very, very important. The DC1350 will actually carry 1,350 kilos. Fantastic bit of machine. It's got an A-frame, so once we put it together you'll see the structure sits nice and solid. It's engineered to balance out the weight. Um, it's got two locked wheels and the other ones will pivot all the time, so it's good for directional on, uh, on both ends. It's a sturdy tubular frame, it's round, it's solid, as you see as we put it together, it's a very, very solid piece of equipment. It's also, also fold down and break down and fit into most cars. As you can see, you might have to be the back seat, take it out on Saturday night. But uh, what we'll do is we'll go through now, we'll just start to piece the thing together, just so you see how it locks up, and we'll keep on from there. So I'll take it through step by step. The easiest way is to get the base where you put everything laid out the way you want it. Get the base and turn it over. That way you're not trying to balance things while you're fitting the four, to the four wheels on. Just got to make sure when you're uh, when you're putting the wheels on that you put both. It's silly, but you put both wheels on the correct end. See, this wheel here is a fully directional. It spins all the time. As you can see, this one has a locking pin, which will bind in and actually locks that up. So that holds straight, and then on directional side so goes. You actually steer it. Okay, just going to show you the lock, how the lock actually works. Bear in mind, all wheels have a grease nipple, so they can be greased, which makes them a lot easier to use. Simply pull out, and lock in, and it locks into the notch. There are four notches on the wheel as it turns, so you just lock in on that notch, and that will hold these two wheels. Do that. That locks them in, they track straight through where the other two wheels can articulate and you can steer around the corner. Right now we've now got the wheels on, make sure we lock them. What we're going to do is tip the base over so it doesn't pivot around on us. And we'll start assembling the round tubular sections from the top. Uh, if you think this is um, going to get a bit heavy, that's about a cart and a half Corona. So that's be that. And just like a Meccano set really, pop these sections together. Right, we're just going to get the cross members now and lock them into the, the top rail here. You'll notice there's a slot in the ends, in both ends. When you hold up your cross member, you'll see there's a bar on the bottom which will actually feed in and lock in. So, you need to lock it in. Same on the other side. Lock so, just put the thread at the end of the pipe in the leading holes. This is the tricky part. And then we try and hand feed these in. Right, safety pins. Feed in through the holes and extends over and locks in. Great little safety pin that goes through, locks over and extends. Fantastic. What we're going to do now, we've got the safety pins locked in the uprights. These two outriggers here, the threaded, the threaded piece on the bottom, we just need to put the nut and the washer on them, and the whole thing's ready to uh, take off. So we'll just uh, try the easiest way come up like that. Have our nut and washer.
there's your trolley assembled, ready to go. You can either put it together the way that I've shown you here, or there are instructions in the box, slightly different, I find this way is a little bit easier. Big thing is, if you get it put together correctly in the first place, it's going to save you a lot of work on site and a lot of effort.